Okay, guys. It is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified. When I post a new video, remember red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you're rocking me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. Um, Ty Dolla Sign is on. I'm on watch. I'm listening to Jagged Edge Pandora Radio um, or Nah. What is it called? Yeah, or Nah. We have the world card, some type of completion that's happening. But when it comes to you being, you soul searching, you know, so you looking out to try to figure out what's going on you are completing cycles and you are manifesting change magician energy and so you know everything that you're manifesting will come to fruition um yeah that's growth that's growth so uh the completions the hermits the magicians all of the major iconas are out and then we have the ten of swords because in the past you felt like there was somebody backstabbing you or there was some type of situations to where you um felt like you were um it says deep anguish but i don't really want to say deep anguish i want to say basically um having some type of painful endings or feeling like you were being betrayed and with the completion here with the world card and the hermit energy you going within uh page of cups and there's going to be new excitement in your life that's all from growth from the past energies that you had to overcome and the page of swords energy is strategic solutioning page of swords energy um, is clarity you having clarity on what it is you know you you understanding and be able to, being able to make decisions based upon where you were in the past and also um, just having growth and being able to manifest in the process of feeling some type of way and that's where the new beginnings come when it comes to the page of cups energy you know you're going after your dreams let's clarify the Completion. What was it that Cancer had to complete in order to get through all of these cards come out? So we have the Two of Swords, Frozen with Indecision. Yeah, Heavy Loads, Ten of Wands, Burdens. Um, and then we have Three of Swords, Heartbreak. And then we have Temperance. Yeah, a lack of balance. So you had to complete these cycles in order for you to be able to come out on top and um, be happy and be able to go after the things that you want. With the soul search and hermit energy comes with the lunar eclipse, deep emotional cleanse. You had to cleanse your energy, which mean which means removing the things that no longer serve you, and that is where the magician energy comes in at. Because once you remove the things that no longer serve you, or you get them out of your life, you know it's like, are you really? Wait, wait, wait. I haven't heard this song in a while, but um, yeah, overflow with love. So uh, the magician energy is manifesting new love. Um, is you down with a or nah you know what I mean so your answer might not be might, might be nah but I was trying to get the words and um, yeah I haven't heard this song in a long time but it's one of my favorites but you know there you have it I just wanted to make sure I said it the right way but with the you know overflow of emotions new romances new things like that you know this is it just being able to manifest things by working on yourself and that's the growth with the eight of, eight of pentacles energy eight years it took for you to get to this point to where you are happy about whatever the life whatever the the future has to hold for you or because you learned how to balance things and also to um deal with your emotions because at this point with the temperance being in the reverse it says excess impatient discord imbalance and it also says self-indulgence and antagonizing so you went through this in order for you to learn about the heartbreak and the things that has happened but the dedication to your craft to yourself and understanding working on yourself is the growth that you needed the ten of swords was the anguish that you had to go through so um yeah avant my first love Oh, wrong card. New moon energy is here. So it says manifesting your desires. Again, working on the things that you want. That is what you had to do. But you had to cleanse that energy. And that's what the soul searching is, is you cleansing your energy and looking for change. And um, it's things that happen in this process of telling you not to give up, but to continue to work. And that is where the page of cups energy is. Again, the page of cups energy just lets you know that, you know, your dreams being, you know, surprised about the outcome is going to happen. But that all comes with you having clarity on what it is 10 of coins energy did i say 10 of coins yeah wealth patriarch domestic uh, domestic duties lineage buying a house image privilege security uh, in the state is 
for you to have a, a foundation, to build a better foundation than what you were or what you had in the past. And so at the bottom of the deck is the three of wands. You had to look for change and be the change that you needed to see. So, you know, at some point, you know, when it comes to you looking ahead and trying to figure out how you're going to grow, it all starts back with you. And that's the way these reads keep coming out. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the crystal tarot deck. I haven't used this card deck in a while just to get an overall energy of, you know, what 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 happens when you do this. So the star energy being optimistic and also the tower energy. Yeah. So the way it came out was tower then the star. It says I am inspired and positive about the future. And that's the star uh, star card, like I said, but the 10 tonight crystal and the tower is the ritualated quartz and the hematite uh Crystal, it says, I surrender and know how to go forward. And so you know how to go forward because basically once you decided to start working on yourself, the magician energy again comes out with overflow of love and emotions and growth. I manifest perfectly what I desire. You understand that nothing can stop you. I'm all the way up. And that's for you to have your happy life, happy wife, that foundation that you've been looking for. And it all comes with new excitement and new love. And so when new love comes in your and your grasp, you're going to know the triggers. You're going to know the red flags. I'm going to pull from the True Emotions deck, and then I'll pull from the, what is this called? i got to turn around and look. I keep the Cozy Witch Tarot. You know, um, I'm going to pull from here to see, uh, from there to see what comes out. But the emotions that you had to go through, yeah, was, yeah. So now you're receiving love messages now that you've healed. Um, you know, now that you feel the situation, every time I hear that in my head, I hear Beyonce and Lemonade, yeah, uh, secluded, uh, separation reflecting and soul searching again, which is what I said when it came to the hermit card energy. So you secluded your energy and you could, because you were fed up, right? And now you're receiving the messages of love because the universe knows you're healed and you're getting readings. You're trying to figure out where to go and how to do things from this situation. I'm going to pull, like I said, from the Cozy Witch deck, excuse me, to see what comes out, to see what questions you need to be asking yourself or to see what direction that or what inspiration that you need to have because you've already manifested the things that you want. Love is coming in. The cards fall out. It's several of them. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Wands. Yeah, victory. You're going to be happy. You're going to be where you need to be when it comes to everything, everything that you worked hard for. It says you're kind of a big deal, so start acting like it. So stop belittling yourself. Stop waiting. I mean, it's okay to hear a message, but you got to be the change that you want to see, and that's the clarity that you have to have, Page of Swords, and knowing which direction you need to go into and knowing how to look ahead and how to have growth and how to expand. And your expansion comes when you become fed up and you start to build those foundations because of the fact that, you know, you were looking for change. And so the cards that all came out, it says the temperance, again, balance right here. This was in the reverse. This is all the negative energy that caused you to have to rebuild the burdens, the heartbreak, the, the lack of uh, balance, the um, not being able to make the decisions, why completion had to happen and you had to go in and soul search and seclude yourself from these energies. It says, let go of self-imposed limitations. So you let certain situations in the past limit you from being able to move forward. And also the eight of, eight of swords energy. Yeah, you were overthinking. Stop overthinking it and just do it. So you had to just really step out eight of pentacles energy and do the work for yourself and to really just have balance and not wait on anybody. Eight of pentacles, eight of pentacles. It says, sorry, but fairies aren't going to come do all the work for you. So, you know, how when... You look at Santa Claus workshop, all the elves make the um, all the elves make the toys. No, you have to make it and you have to do the work for yourself. Knight of Cups energy says romanticize the present moment every chance you get the present moment, not the future, not the past. Romanticize the present moment every chance you get, because, again, if you live in the past, it causes fear. And if you live in the future, it causes anxiety. So not knowing what it is. That's the reason why you stay stagnant. Um, and then we have the King of Pentacles. Yeah. So the King of Pentacles is somebody who is disciplined and who's a leader, but who also has a business plan and has the worth ethic that you need to have in your life. It says true success isn't about money. It's about happiness. And that is what you know deep down in your heart. It's about happiness. This looks like to me somebody built a small little shop. And I'm going to try to read what it says. 
Thanks for supporting Local Witches. So you're building your small little shop, and not little, but a small, I say little, like a tiny house, not, oh, your little business, like a tiny house, and you're making ends meet based upon the things that you love and enjoy. And it says the five of swords. You can't be right all the time. So when it comes to certain situations, everybody feels like they're right. The only thing you can do is just, you know what, five of swords, ego, energy. People are going to walk away. You know, you're going to be upset. They're going to be upset you walked away. Or this could be you going in a direction of change. And so, you know, people always want to be right. You might want to be right. But again, five of pentacles, having the insight and knowledge to really see, look back and see what's causing you sadness. It says nothing is ever as hopeless as it seems. So again, five of pentacles, five years of struggle um, when it comes to the moon energy, fearing. It says take time to, for deep self-reflection. Um, taking time for deep self-reflection is essential. So, you know, you got to kind of face your fears, but um, the moon energy also is remembering, remembering where you were and how far you've come. And that's when you realize why you secluded your energy and why you're fed up, but why you're in victory now because you're building the foundation that you need. So you being fed up and feeling like you had to be secluded from a situation only gives you the right to be able to have your cake and eat it too. And that is how I see that energy. You know, you are um, building a legacy. You know, you are building um, a foundation so that for growth. And sometimes it takes for you to be fed up in order to do so. So you guys, I think that was a really good read. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the uh, four agreements. If you want to know my my interpretation of the four agreements, I will put the link up above. And also um, the crystal deck, which uh, focuses on the chakras. And then, doo -doo -doo -doo, there we go, skullicite. I've never had that one before, the skullicite. So we have, don't take anything personal. So being fed up comes with, you have to be fed up with, what you have going on inside it has nothing to do with anybody else. But again, you have to separate yourself to realize how somebody is making you feel, but don't take it personal when it comes to you feeling like you always have to be right. You don't have to be right. And you don't have to prove a point to a person, place, thing, or a situation. You just have to know that it's time. If I'm trying to, if I'm starting to take things personal, it's time for me to look in a different direction or move to a different direction because these are unwinnable situations, ego, that you'll never be able to, um, to, um, I guess, make, make them feel some type of way or make, or, you know, or without, without having an argument, I guess it says, so be, uh, don't take anything personal, be immune to others opinions. So what others say and do is a projection of their own reality their own dream. When you are immune to the op opinions and actions of others, you won't be a victim of needless suffering. So again, don't take things personally when it comes to somebody's opinion and also why you just can't be right. Sometimes you just have to bow, bow and say, you know what? Okay. I humbly understand and I'll see you soon next lifetime. Sometimes the skull, scolocyte, it is third eye and crown chakra, astral travel, inner peace and tolerance. What you tolerate and what destroys your peace is what you're trying to figure out. And that's all of these energies and why you had to have a completion. Um, Donnell Jones is on. I hope it's you. It says, I'm connected to every realm of the universe. I am connected to every realm of the universe. So there you have it. Um, yeah, you're fed up and you had to separate yourself. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. Love you guys.